Underground. Here we are back on our social media pages. My name is Jim Lotta. Being joined by the big man himself, Bro Hemet and Vance Schrader. Bro, I'm going to go to you first, being the established one here. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. You have a ton of potential. A lot of your reputation has been built on potential, and you've earned it. How are you going to realize that potential here in the fight on your own? I've said it once, and I'll gladly say it again. I came to be number one. Whether it's him or it's anybody else, I'm running through them and taking the top spot here in Fight Underground. And conversely, we've got Vance Strader. Now, Vance, I understand you, you put a video up. You got the Fight Council members that feel bad for you. You want an opportunity. Tell us, tell our audience, why does Vance Strader belong in Fight Underground? Why do I belong in Fight Underground? What do you mean, why do I belong in Fight Underground? I want this. This is all I ever wanted to do. I don't care about the money. I just want to beat people up. And bro, you really think you're going to run through me? You think you're just going to have your way with me? Okay, we'll see. You think because you're a big guy that, you know, and I'm a little guy, you're just going to just destroy me, uh, right? I'm the biggest guy. That's why I'm ranked number one. And you're begging for an opportunity. But sorry, here's a fun fact. You're just a lamb to the slaughter, kid. Bro, you made a great point. I'm asking you about it. Vance Trader, formidable competition or not, we have seen some tremendous action over the past several weeks here on our social media platforms. How does Bro Hemoth approach the competition, not just Vance Trader, but across the board? How will you make your impact on a continuous basis as the Fight Underground concept continues to evolve? Why should we bet big on Bro Hemoth? I don't need to speak. Watch what I do to Strader to show what everybody can expect when you step in the ring with the Bronomaly. All right, Vance, I'm gonna go back to you. How do you approach Brohemoth? What's your strategy, what's your technique, and why should we believe you're going to be formidable competition? Because Bro remind me of that little boy who I went to school with who was a bully who told me I wouldn't be able to do this. So tomorrow night, I'm gonna punch you straight in the mouth. Don't punch me in the mouth. Straight in the mouth. I'll give, I'll give you that one shot, because at, at least it looks like you die trying. I tried. Bro, I'm going to give you the last word, being the established veteran here. Final thoughts on not only Vance Schrader, but any and everything that our audience needs to know going forward here with Bro Hemoth and Fight on your Round. Bro is about to go on a rampage. I'm running through everything, because it ain't a game. It's just game over. Bro Hemoth, 20,000 megapixels bringing you to the Fight Underground. And tomorrow night, you will see this matchup. Will Bro Hemoth establish his dominance here as we start a new chapter? Will Van Strader prove many, many of his critics wrong? We're going to find that out. Fight Underground, right here, social media. Check it out. Bro Hemoth, Van Strader. Back here, Fight Underground. My name is Jim Amata, being joined by Paul Atlas. Uh, Omar Whittle would be proud of that. If you come at the king, you best not miss. And hey, Vance Strader, he wanted this opportunity after being involved in probably what was the biggest embarrassment in pro wrestling history he had the audacity to interrupt me after uh, i was doing some business and demand a spot in fight underground well we're going to see if you can earn one here kid against the big man bro hemoth a man who's an odds-on favorite to be at the top of the fight underground look out you gotta be kidding me absolutely took vance in half Damn there, took his head off with that one. I believe that uh, 
Vance Strader's uh, dreams of pro wrestling glory have turned into a fight underground nightmare. Yeah, he wanted to step out of the little leagues and up to the big leagues. Well, he's in the big leagues now with one of the biggest around, Bro Heeman. Bro is just loving it. Bro wants to make a statement. He wants to prove a point. And Vance may be the one. Look out. To be the exclamation point. Game thanks. over. Oh, thanks for stopping, kid. Bro Hemoth with the big win. Vance Strader, you wanted your shot. You didn't take advantage of it. Bro Hemoth is known as a fun loving individual, but a damn bell rang and uh that was a harsh reality check for Van Strader or anybody else that wants to uh, step to Brohemoth in the fight underground. No two ways about that. Let's send it down to the uh, legendary Jeff Gorman. Van Strader, fight underground gave you a shot. Brohemoth gave you a shot, but it wasn't enough. How do you bounce back from a loss like this? They did. I asked for a shot. Paul granted it. I lost, but I'm not done. I'll be back. You can bet that. I'll be back. All right. We will see Van Strader again. Bro Hemoth, I'm very surprised that you gave Van Strader a free shot, but ultimately he fell victim to the Monster Magnum driver. I told him I'd at least let him look like he died trying. All I need to know is who's next. I'm still looking for a fight. Hey, Paul, it's Brandon's getting hey. in the ring. What's going on here? Oh, Brandon, um, you still hungry? Oh, you still hungry? Yes. Hey, Paul, play director Paul. I think I'm it was. He made pretty quick work of him, buddy. And I'm sitting over here, and I hear this little, little guy laughing during this match. This little guy we've been hearing about on the internet, running his mouth, walking around with this fake invitation. You know the guy I'm talking about? Hey, you're talking about a forgery? Yeah. That guy. The great Alexander. I did not forge that all the time. I died. You know I mean, the guy's dressed like Liberace. Let's give him a chance to make a statement. Oh, sure. Why not? I'm all about chances. Take Alex off your little pink bandana. Take off your Liberace jacket and get your ass in the ring, kid. Alexander's been talking a lot of trash online. There's been a lot of people that have said a lot of dumb things online, and Alexander uh, might not be quite as dumb and, uh, as we've seen, but he's hey, still pretty damned up. Brandon Kay, he's, he's the kid's trainer. He seems to think he needs a shot. I'm good with it, brother. I am good with it. I'm all about chances. All about opportunity. Alexander... Sure. He won an opportunity, he ran his mouth, and he, his wish hey, is going to be granted. Like I said, I'm all about chances, and there's a chance he might survive this match. Bro, my man! I got nothing! Bro Hemoth, Great Alexander, a bonus matchup of sorts here this week. What the heck? I mean, the kid can't even get his wrist tape to stick. That's why you uh, have to stay tuned to our social media platforms. Fight underground. Anything can happen. Anybody can show up. And uh, Big Bro got a look on his face like, you know, he's late for the buffet and this kid's in his way. I believe Bro may eat the great Alexander for lunch, Paul. I'm sure he could. That's Mr. G, Alexander's flunky. And yeah, the, I don't think that was too smart, kid. Now, Alexander comes from a wealthy family, oh. but uh, Papa Alexander ain't going to be able to help uh, this young man. I hope they got him a gold-encrusted crypt to keep his dead body in when he's done, when Brohim is done with him. Alexander, uh, very cocky, but he does have oh. some skill, but he may not get a chance to show it. This kid's talked a good game, but i tell you what, good night. Nope, bro's not done. Bro knows when he's done, and he's not done yet. Bro. He's going for a ride. Alexander bouncing on impact. Just got him, ref. The referee was worried about Alexander's well-being. Bro, he meant don't give a damn about Ooh. anybody. And I think uh, the great Alexander don't know whether he's great, ingrate, and ingrate, or what the hell's going on right now. 
He may not be quite as great after that beating. Great Alexander, you got a little bit of help from Mr. G, but ultimately this is not what you had planned for your Fight Underground debut. Little help from Mr. G? I didn't get any help. I got dust in my eyes. That's why I fell off the top rope. Bro just took advantage of me. <coughs> I can't see. Okay, I need help. Oh. I don't want it. Screw all of you! Brohemoth, it looks like it's two wins for the price of one with the Monster Magnum driver. I told you, number one spot was given, but it wasn't earned. I'm going to run through everything till it is earned. So who's next? Brohemoth making a statement in Fight Underground. This is the post-fight press conference for Brohemoth, where we are joined by Fight Council members Boomer Payne, Stacey Hunter, and Bubba Brewer. But let's hear what Brohemoth thinks about his win over the great Alexander. I told you, whether it was Van Strader or Alexis the Great, you step to me, I'm gonna run through you. This is my house, remember that. Question from Boomer Payne. Brohemoth, congratulations, two and zero uh, in under five minutes total in the ring. Very impressed. My question to you is, what's next? What's next? The answer is simple. Bro keeps fighting. Who's next? Who's going to step up? I don't know. I don't care. Just bring me a fight. Stacey Andre? Bro, do you really think Alexa was that big of a challenge for you, though? No, neither one was, but now I'm ready for a real competition. Let's wrap it up with Bubba Brewer. Brohemoth, congratulations. You have said what you're going to do in Fight on the Ground, and you did it impressively, like getting a cup of coffee in those matches. So what are you going to do, and how are you going to steamroll over bigger Bad opponents. The same way. I'm running through everything. The top spot is mine. So, Brohemoth, you're definitely making waves here in Fight Underground. You're 2 0. Oh, you've got the fight counts are very much impressed. And I'm sure they're going to keep going better and bigger and tougher competition. I hope they do, because that was a okay. cake. This is a combined post-fights press conference for both Vance Strader on your left and the great Alexander after their matches against Brohemoth. I'm joined by Fight Council members Brandon Kay, Stacey Hunter, and Bubba Brewer. But let's first hear from Vance and Alexander about how things went in the ring against Brohemoth. Okay, so I lost. At least I showed up. I wasn't afraid. Bro got the best of me. There it is. Okay, first off, I got like a little dust in my eyes, so clearly I did not lose fair. He took advantage of me being on the top rope catching me. Okay, like, this is unfair. I was not. E <clears throat> okay. I'm okay, Brohemoth. You're still overrated. You're still overrated. You're just lucky. Why don't we get a question from Stacey Hunter? Overrated. You have been doing nothing but run your mouth for weeks about how you are so great. You come in here and just got your ass wolfed in less than oh. two minutes. Oh, really? I'm surprised that he got it that quickly. Not from you. You come here uninvited, you try to make a name for yourself, and this is what you did. Uninvited? Surprise. Wait, he was taken off of Fight Underground because he has zero experience. Because of me. I was the one who stated it. Not Paul. Not Paul. I was the reason why you are not supposed to be here. Also, as a matter of fact, Brohemoth took advantage of something 
that I just mistakenly did. That's all he did. Stop your whining. What? Stop your whining. That's all you do. You complain all the dog one time. So, so it was your, it was your, it was your fault that I got poor, that my video got poor. Absolutely. Okay. So how about next time I fight you then? <laughs> you know, you're funny. You're a real funny guy. <laughs> this guy. Only person laughing is you. Let's even get a question from Brandon K. You guys both came in here trying to make a statement. Now, obviously, that didn't work out for me today. What's your plan for, for the future? Because I want to tell you, you can still make a statement. Because you failed today, because you lost, they're going to judge you on your character of what happens after you lose. How do you handle it? So I'm going to ask you guys, how are you going to handle this loss? I'm going to keep coming back. I'm going to keep training. I mean, just because I lost once doesn't mean I'm going to lose again. <laughs> I'm not giving up. That's all I wanted to do. I'm not doing it for fame and fortune like some other people. Huh. Fame and fortune. Okay. I'll be back. Don't worry. And this, and next time, next time, bro, don't cheat. Trust me. I got him. I got him next time. False. How about you, Bubba Brewer? Let's wrap this up. Well, as I sit here and I ponder, uh, uh, Vance, I give you credit because you said, you know, you didn't have what it takes on this, on this fight and fight underground. Okay, I, I give you that. Now, the guy beside you has been running this track, like Stacy said, for uh, since we've been doing this fight console on, on, on the internet. And he sits here, he's uninvited. He's, he, look, you're, you're a little rash, little cocky, brother, but you're not as good as you think you are. And maybe next time you come, maybe you should be invited, sir. <laughs> Hit the invitation, because you cannot be coming here uninvited two more times, because you'll be out. And that's forever. What do you got to say about that? I can be invited, uninvited. It doesn't matter because I'm the great Alexander. And it doesn't matter you that I that lost. Time's over. That's why yeah. didn't get you a win. I wouldn't have yeah. a coffee on that match because it was that quick. Huh. Huh. At least I can give props. Props for what? Losing? He's not, he's not doing excuses like you're doing right now. I'm not doing excuses at all. Okay? That's bull crap. All you ever do is excuses. Everything that's hey. came out your mouth for the past three, four minutes has been nothing but Shh. excuses. Except if you got your behind kicked just like I did. Did you just interrupt me? Can yes, you please I did. stop? Thanks. I'd appreciate it a lot. The great Alexander, okay, is going to make a statement, okay? And this company, this underground, whatever you want to make it, Brohemoth just got lucky. That's all he did. I'm still great. Great Alexander and Vance Trainer, you both faced the challenge of Brokema. You both faced some challenging words from the Fight Council. I don't know whether you two should fight each other or whether you should team up with each other. What do you think? Me team up with him? Are you serious? This guy? I've seen, I've seen, stra I've seen stranger tag teams. <laughs> You're funny. You're real funny. You're funny like him. Cracking jokes around here. I would, the last thing I would ever do is team up with this punk. I'll crack his jaw. Oh, boy. Huh.